Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. It's goddamn freezing out there. Whew. It's snowed. It's snowing right now. I didn't think it was snow last night, but uh, last night when I was working, I felt a cold breeze coming out. You can see the vapors coming out of my mouth. It's very cold outside. I was just going to turn the heater off on this car. And it's freezing in here. But uh, if I turn on the heater, it's going to blow a lot of cold air. So I just turn it off and let the engine warm up first. That work. But anyways, we're going to talk about this uh, topic. I'm watching right now on YouTube it has to do with racism in the NFL. Now, as you all know, racism in sports has been going on for uh, years, and uh, likely it has changed a little bit, but uh, hasn't really changed a whole lot. Like, there's a lot of racism in the NFL, in the NBA, and in some cases, NHL hockey. Because as I'm seeing in NHL, I'm seeing more black players, black hockey players playing in the NHL. But and there's still there's still some racism in the NHL. Cause I, cause I just read a story on the internet years ago about a black hockey player who's from Canada by the name of uh, Peter Worrell, Worrell, and he had a lot of um, he received a lot of racist taunts from the from the audience or from the sports fans when he was playing hockey. Now, I don't know what happened to Peter Worrell, but um, Worrell, okay, I don't know how to say his last name, but uh, yeah, he received a lot of uh, racist uh, taunts from the NHL fans. So, yeah, you see, we're beginning to see an increase in racism in the NHL. Now, Maybe for Major League, I, mean, I don't know about Major League Baseball because I've seen a lot more Hispanic players playing in Major League Baseball. But the NBA and NFL, my goodness, a lot of racism. Because if you look at it, you don't see many black, we're seeing black coaches now coach the, in the NFL, but not many black coaches. But that's starting to change. But if you look at the ownership of most teams, most of the ownership is, are uh, are white men. You don't see any black faces that own sports teams or any NFL or NBA teams. Even the commissioner of the NBA is white. There's no black NBA commissioner. And, of course, you got to think about the CFL, too, the Canadian Football League. There's a lot of racism in there, too, because Canada, they don't have any... There aren't many black people in Canada, but still, the majority of uh, CFL players are black, mostly from the United States and in some parts of Canada. So there's not some there's some racism in the CFL as well. Of course, the majority of it is NFL and NBA, basketball and football. Of course, you got to think about yesterday's Super Bowl as well, or Super Bowl on Sunday, where... Peyton Manning got a lot more uh, respect than uh, than Russell Wilson. Even though Russell Wilson won the game for Seattle, Peyton Manning threw a lot of interceptions. Yet they still probably praise Peyton Manning more than Russell Wilson. And Peyton Manning is just about past his prime. Russell Wilson is in his prime. And yet Peyton Manning gets more recognition and respect for him many NFL fans. So you can see right there that there's a lot of racism in the NFL and NBA basketball. Because a lot of the sport team owners and sports team sport owners are white. And the people at the top, the commissioners and all that are in the players union sitting on the board of the players union are white. One black person is there, but the majority of them are white. So um, it's not really a surprise right there. And, of course, you can't forget about societies. There's a lot of racism in America still within the American society. 
and of course in Canada too, where we have this hidden systematic racism that still persists in this country. And um, this month is Black History Month, so I got to give a salute to all my to all my brothers and sisters in Canada. And of course, we cannot forget the brothers and sisters down south in the United States. In fact, all brothers and sisters all over the world, because we've got black people in Mexico and black people in the UK and in France and in Germany. And black people in Spain as well. And all my brothers and sisters in Africa. I salute you on this month of black history. But, uh, this video is about racism in the NFL and NBA and all sorts of professional sport thing outlets and in society. I know this is controversial, but I just thought I'd get this off my chest. That's all.